Hey, hi everybody. How are you doing? Everybody okay? Um, I have the last Phoebe Gilman story that I have at home I have to read. I thought we could read it together. It's Pirate Pearl. Chicken Joseph. So we'll see how it goes. Are you ready? Comfy? Okay, here we go. Pirate Pearl. Captain Plunk and his crew were rough, rascally pirates. They weren't the ones who sank the ship, though. Count Crumple and his evil friends did that. <laughs> oh, the fools forgot their treasure, Captain Plunk said, pointing to something bobbing up and down in the ocean waves. He thought it was a tress, chest full of precious pearls. <laughs> he was wrong. It was a cradle full of precious pearl. Precious Pearl is a baby, he roared. Make her walk the plank. But Pearl couldn't. Actually, she wouldn't and couldn't. She hadn't learned how to walk yet. Captain Plunk had no choice. He had to wait. By the time Pearl learned to walk, the pirates were used to having her around. They decided to keep her. She's a regular lucky charm, said Macaroon. Ever since she came on board, princes seem to sail right into our laps. Pearl laughed merrily and bounced up and down on the overflowing treasure chest. The jingle jangle of the gold set Captain Plunk's feet a tapping and he danced a little pirate jig. Yo ho, a pirate prizes! watching how the treasure rises. Yo-ho, we terrorizes princes without warning. Pearl grew up to be a proper pirate. She can swashbuckle with the best of them, said Macaroon, beaming with pride. Captain Plunk even forgave her one, the one embarrassing habit that she had. She didn't like to bury her treasure. She gave it away. At least, she tried to give it away. Most people ran when they saw Pearl coming. Except for Prince Basil. He never met anyone quite like her. As soon as she leapt onto deck of his ship, he was smitten. Quicker than you can say, shiver me timbers. Pearl's trusty cutlass slashed the ruby buttons from his purple satin vest and flipped the royal crown off the royal head. I'll take that, she said, flashing a wicked pirate grin. Thank you very much. She's very polite too, isn't she, matey? said Captain Plunk in case the prince hadn't noticed. Hand over the rest of your treasure, Pearl ordered. But Prince Basil wouldn't. Actually, he couldn't. He had no treasure. The ruby buttons were glass, and his crown was tinsel. I went to sea to seek my fortune, he explained, pulling a piece of paper out from his pocket. And this is the piece of paper he had in his pocket. It says, Hear ye, hear ye, precious pearl has been kidnapped and captured by pirates. Pearl moved a step closer and looked at the paper. Prince Basil looked at Pearl. Oh, Horrors, he said. That's Precious Pearl's locket. What have you done with the baby princess? This is my locket, said Pearl. I was wearing it when my papas found me out on the sea. Can it be, said Prince Basil? Yes, it must be you. Pirate Pearl, the lost princess. I must say you've changed quite a bit. Egads, cried Pearl. If I'm a princess, a royal treasure awaits. What are we doing lollygaggling around here for? Where's my castle? Ten days later, the pirates dropped anchor in a small bay. Count Crumple was not happy to see them. How dare you sneak into my castle, he said. Your castle, said Pearl. I think you mean my castle. 
I am Princess Precious Pearl. I am the princess, and here is my princess locket to prove it. I was captured by pirates, just like it says on this proclamation you signed. Ha! laughed the count. Precious Pearl was never captured by pirates. She lies at the bottom of the sea. There's only one way you could know that, said Pearl. You must be the one who sank the ship. Blast it, cried Count Crumple. I've been bamboozled by a buccaneer. My scheme was foolproof. How did you escape? Nothing to it, said Pearl. The ship sank, the cradle didn't. Throw the scurvy skunk into the dungeon. The people in Pearl's kingdom cheered. Nobody liked Count Crumple very much. He was mean and he was greedy ruler. Now we shall be married and live happily ever after, said Prince Basil. Married, said Pearl. Yes, of course, said Prince Basil. That is the usual reward for rescuing a princess. You marry her and rule the kingdom. Everyone knows that. Well, that's ridiculous, said Pearl. I won't do it. Blow me down, said Captain Plunk. This explains why all those princesses, princes kept showing up. But what about my reward, said Prince Basil. Perhaps he could join our crew, said Macaroon. I can't think of a greater reward than that, said Pearl. She tossed a bag of treasure to the prince. You can start by helping me give this away. Yo-ho, we like surprises. Given treasure scandalizes. We could do no otherwise. We are fearless pirates. Did you like that? Did you like that? All right. Okay, we'll see you next time.